Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 999 Gaming. I want to do a video for The Walking Dead Road to Survival, and this was a rather long fight. This is uh, Dale's story, stage number seven. Probably a 30 minute fight, so I've sped up a good portion of this just to um, kind of get through it. Uh, you're going to see some interesting items being used. Uh, you're going to get a little bit of everything, and then you're going to get the, probably the most amazing thing that you'll ever see toward the end of this video, so I don't want to spoil it just yet. I'm going to go ahead and set up the team. I decided to go with uh, most of my A players here. Normally I have Michonne in there, but the matchup was not favorable, so I went with four Ricks, and I brought a healer, Dr. Stevens, that I've been working on a little bit more. So four red and one yellow, which I think is a pretty solid combination because you can see some of the matchups early. I do have some of the blues early, uh, which is not the best matchup for my alert characters for Rick. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to incapacitate them as much as possible. So I brought some sedatives. And the nice thing about this um, roadmap uh, level is you get two rows in each level. So if you do have a sedative, it actually works on both of them in the row. So uh, you can only bring 20 heals. You can bring 10 sedatives. And then some of the other items, I brought a couple of the, um, the smelling salts in order to revive the characters. Um, you're going to see that's going to come in handy as well too. So just kind of scrolling through business as, as normal here on wave number one. Um, these guys take a lot of damage, and, and I don't know that I got any crit probably in this whole battle more than a couple hundred points. So when they're sitting at, I don't know, they must be sitting at over a thousand a pop. It just takes a long time to grind through all of these levels. Uh, you can see um, the main thing is just look at the bottom, look at the uh, red charts, and what I'm doing is just balancing my heels. Anytime I get a chance to use turn the tides, if I use the uh, sidekick support, and it really centers around a lot of keeping Dr. Stevens up and um, and getting hit. He has a big heel um, that just, it, I think, gets 80%, either 60 or 80% of everyone's uh, max health. So as long as I keep him up, I'm in pretty good shape. And you can see I've got all the adrenaline rush working here, so no, no hurry at all. Um, especially when they're six on one, it's basically just kind of uh, level my stuff up, make sure I get the adrenaline rush working. So this next level, I'm going to start out with Turn the Tides. You can see pretty good matchup for me. I'm going to go ahead and single down one of these uh, green ones. Red versus green is a phenomenal matchup. So uh, hitting pretty hard. A uh, couple people took a little more damage than I wanted there, but I got Dr. Stevens up. That was a rough one shot there. Um, green does work well versus yellow. I should have uh, probably incapacitated the green there. Would have helped out a little bit more, but I thought since he was about 75%, he'd be able to withstand it. But no, I mean, sometimes it's very unpredictable. You get, they'll hit you for 200, 250, and then all of a sudden, bam, you know, just out of nowhere comes a big shot. So you can see scrolling through this pretty good. Um, got my adrenaline rush working, no big deal. Um, was able to use the smell and salts to get Dr. Stevens back up, so I still have one more of those left. And now it's just, uh, you know, kind of picking us off little by little. All right, so next wave, we're going to take a look, and uh, we're going to incapacitate. we got a green right there in the middle, so we're going to really just take this down with all these ricks. Uh, Dr. Stevens, once again, took a lot of damage, but luckily I had his heal on cooldown from the adrenaline rush. Um, go ahead and get respected resolve, give us a nice buff, sidekick support. So pretty good team here. Um, it's got some versatility. Rick's turn to tides actually heals. Dr. Stevens heals. The other two ricks both have heals. And the fact that I've got Rick with all the other ones, the alert characters get a nice um, attack boost and also a nice crit boost as well. So you can see... Uh, doctor's therapy anytime that's up I'm just popping it so wave number three here we are familiar territory six of us and one of them so once again I'm just kind of um, taking my time with these instead of using all the adrenaline rush the nice thing here is I can just attack with everybody until I got some ad additional adrenaline rushes built up for the next round so wave number four um, we're going to start out and just use the sedative um, on the, the row of two people and you can see we're going to go ahead and just uh, single target this one right in the middle. It's red, so not a, a real threat for my team, but since the other one's incapacitated, I might as well go ahead and just uh, pick one down. The other ones aren't going to hit that hard. The next thing, we'll go ahead and move to the yellow. Still in pretty good shape here. So I know there's been a lot of challenges with these levels, but you can see with this team, a pretty decent matchup here. I mean, other than the one big hit on Dr. Stevens and I had the uh, smelling salt to res, I haven't um, been and faced a lot of damage up to this point. Uh, there you can see he took a little bit of damage, but I had a couple heals lined up once again. So good shape here, sidekick support. Uh, Dr. Stevens is about 55%, so I'm going to go ahead and heal him up a little bit just to be safe because... Um, 
this AI, uh, there's no rhyme or reason to who they attack. It's just, uh, you know, they'll get one low and then they'll switch targets. So it's a little bit unpredictable. Even if they have a good matchup, sometimes they switch targets. Um, let's see. So moving on to wave number five. So wave number five is where it got a little bit tough here. You got three blue. The blue is not a good matchup for my Rick team. So I'm, I'm going to do everything I can to incapacitate all the blue and get those down as soon as possible. So I've got one guy knocked out, the one in the middle. He absolutely can't attack at all. And then I've got the uh, sedative on the other two. So what I'm trying to do is take down one of the blue before the other guy wakes up. And, you know, there again, I'm just going to keep the heels, keep everybody topped off. And we finally got one of the blue down, so now we're moving on to the next one. And there isn't a warning, so the knockout stays up for three turns. So I should have knocked him out again. We're going to go ahead and heal up a little bit, but now you can see we're starting to run out of items. I got one heal left, one sedative there, and I got to save something because I know I'm going to run into something in the next wave. And I just need some bigger crits. Even my crits are like 200, so these, these guys are not going down quick at all. Now I got a pretty decent matchup. I got six of us versus three of them, so feeling pretty good about where we're at. Got turn the tides working here, tops everybody off. Respected Resolve, and I'm just overhealing now just to be safe. So now six on two, pretty good shape. So I'm starting to see this is uh, this is very doable at this point. And just a couple of red characters. So, you know, red's not going to hurt us at all because most of my team is red, so it's kind of even money. Uh, we're actually hitting them a little harder than they're hitting us. I went ahead and used Turn of Tides there. I figured I'd uh, have enough time if I single target to get it uh, Adrenaline Rush topped off again. Because you can see it's uh, it's just slow going here. So I want to get as many Adrenaline Rush working as I can going into that uh, sixth and final wave. So six on one. Once again, like I said, we're in great shape. And we got almost everybody's Adrenaline Rush up as well too. So very, very nice. And at this point I was going to be a little bit uh, clever, skip a couple attacks to get a little bit more Adrenaline Rush. I uh, skip Rick, and then that one in the corner, man, I just can't figure out how to uh, defend against that. So here it is. This is the sixth wave. A uh, couple greens. you got some yellow in there. So I'm going to go ahead and use everything that i got. I'm going to knock out in the middle, and I'm going to use sedatives on the two bottom guys. And my goal is just to take out this yellow as quick as possible. I don't want the yellow hitting uh, anybody, and that's the boss. So just want to go ahead and get this down. Topping everybody off. And it's going to get rough here in a second. Respected Resolve, Protective Shot, and I just can't get one of them down. There's Beaten to a Pulp, and you can see as soon as these guys came out, um, one goes down. I had the Smelling Salt, so I'm immediately able to get Dr. Stevens back up. But as soon as I get this up, uh, Spray and Pray takes, out, um, takes them out again. So I lose a Rick, and I lose Dr. Stevens. So now we're at a point where it's four on four. But... This is where it gets absolutely stupid. I'm sorry. This is a green that just crit all of my red team for 550 a pop. Absolutely stupid. I'm sorry to say it. We were in great shape. That is not a matchup. If blue would have hit red for 550, I get it. But a green critting red for that much, absolutely, it's, it's the dumbest thing I've seen. So, I, guys, I, I'm sorry I spent 75 coins there because I'm not doing this all over again. And I'm actually playing this for a deal that I don't need. I just wanted to go through it. Um, but I wanted to slow that down so you guys could really understand the magnitude. Um, I thought I had everything lined up to beat this with no coins, no continuation. And when my biggest crit throughout the whole fight is there's 232 that I'm critting for. And then he hits four of my characters that are even a non-benefit um, to them for double what I'm hitting for. I'm you know, just going to call BS on that. But anyway... Moving on, we move through it. So once I got the res, it's uh, it's funny they just didn't hit me hard anymore. So it must have just been like a one-time deal. But um, yeah, I don't even know if I've been hit by a blue that hard in a long time. So there you go, the last little bit. Once we res, we got all six of them up. So for seventy, uh, you know, for eighty percent of this fight, I was completely owning it. Thought I had all the right items, and that one big attack right there. Um, no choice forced me to rest. So I'm going to debate whether or not, I'm probably going to end up doing the last phase, but I tell you, that's a little bit of a bummer 
to uh, you know feel like you got it planned out and just take that cheap shot like that. So give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys want me to do stage eight. Um, I don't know if stage seven is doable without using some sort of boost. If you guys have done it, then definitely let me know. So thanks for watching. My name is Killshot. I'll try to cry a little bit less in the next video. Appreciate the comment support, guys. Peace.